possible, especially here in the Flying Squirrels. And these two are ready to grip and claw for a winner-take-all prize of a dozen Sugar Shack Donuts! That's right, that's right. Someone goes home happy tonight. All right, let's meet our two intern contestants today. Here's Matt Denardo. Helen from Richmond, Virginia. A man who loves shoes more than a grown man should. And tonight he plans to <laughs> Not my mistake, it's a producer error. Wrong fight. <laughs> Just keep... Look at the faces over there in these two next boxes. Only a mother can love them. Hailing from the fighting hotbed of New Kent, Virginia. Coming in at six foot five, 234 pounds, wearing blue trunks, the malicious mountain, Mount Castle! Chesterfield, Virginia, weighing in at 204 pounds. Introducing the Baron of Bash, the Pontiff of Punch, Malik the Freak Thomas! Next 
Let's get it on! <laughs> See, no matter how good of friends you are, you work together long enough to honor the big ball and you start throwing real punches. Move your feet, boys. Let's go. Unreal. That was a close one. That was a good round right there, boys. Good round. Tough. At what point in life would there be two writers that would say, hey, Tom, I really want to fight that guy? Every day on the deadline. Every day at the deadline? Is that the most stressful part of, uh, of your day there? Not like, hey, I need to come up with a story about a boxing thing that happened in Diamond, but I need to get it in the next six minutes? You did put your reputation on the line for us, and we appreciate that, Tom. Spence, how are we doing down here? How, let's get a little interview with the referee's brother. How's your brother doing out there? That's the number one key, is don't get punched when you're a referee, right? Don't let the other guy bite one guy's ear off, and don't get punched in the face. Malik, are you ready? All right, go get him. Malcolm, no more reps for you. Round three! Let's get it on! What? Get it down here. He is boxing, man. Oh, you see the fatigue setting in. Oh, the straight ride from the lead. Malcolm, keep the gloves up, buddy. Two seconds left. And time! Another great round from the lead and Malcolm there. Burnham, how you feeling about this one? Not paying attention to me. All right. All right, the loser of this match Winner goes home with the donuts. Loser goes over there to the raffle table. Did you guys probably have the longest arms here? We're gonna use them. Remember, $5 for an arm length of raffle tickets, $10 for a wingspan. Looks like Malik's wingspan is about 18 feet. Ish, right? Yeah. Are you really that tired? He's good. Your corner man, Ring Girls, what are we doing? Round, round four, Ring Girls. How's your corner man doing up here, Malik? Yeah. Did you say something? Did you say Malik has muscles? Let the Ring Girls in, Shooter, what are you doing? Unreal. Girls taking time out of their busy schedules. And you just block them out. How about a hand for the ring girls for the VCU dancing? All right, on to the fourth and final round for Fight for Your Donuts. All right, let's see. This is where the hunger really sets in, boys. Whoa, Willie, did you hear what he just said about you? Got the jelly legs, overhand swimming style punches, work the ribs! Hey, for our next fighter, somebody work the body. What's your kidney shut down? You can't throw punches anymore. I learned that from Rocky. And time is up! Guys, you want to bring the stools into the middle of the ring for the judges? Somebody's supposed to celebrate it with their corner, thinking they won. Once again, judges, we've got Malik in the red gloves, Malcolm in the black. Going home.
Week with the Dozen Donuts from Sugar Shack Donuts. Michael, we really appreciate you bringing those. Vernon, who'd you think it was? Uh, I think that was probably Malcolm by here. Malcolm by here. Yeah, he a late punch in that short fence team. Well, he did a great job. Either way, loser has to go over to the raffle table. You know, we're going to use this wingspan or that wingspan. Either way. In the spirit of sharing, they could split the 12 donuts. That would be Look at that. One, six, Nothing eight. but love here. Look at the flying squirrels. That <laughs> English. <laughs> Alright, we can catch your breath. Judges! First off, Michael Goen from Sugar Shack. Donuts save lives! Donuts save lives, these boys both look like they could use some saving right we now. We need an answer! Ugly from Mekong Restaurant. Red! All the donuts! All the donuts. <laughs> One vote for Malik. Tom Silvestri! Black! That's a, that's a six donuts yeah, a piece, right? That's six donuts a piece. All right, guys, that's it for eight donuts. All right. You both have to go over to the raffle table, though. One donut has to go to that raffle table. One donut to that raffle table. Remember, it's for the kids.